learn Bonita Springs, where deputies who were always there on Christmas kept a watchful eye. It was definitely in the back of my mind. It was the back of your mind. Yeah, that, you know, you could be possibly put in threat. But the alleged threats to theaters nationwide didn't stop people here. The 10 p.m. showing at the Prado and Bonita was sold out. I felt safe. Some even say they came tonight to fight back. What's wrong with the deal with the cyber attacks? And uh, maybe we want to see it even more. And what about all the hype? The publicity that they managed to pull up this is kind of historic. Yes, many we talked to say they think the hacking and threats were all part of a larger marketing ploy. One moviegoer even theorized the president was involved. I think they did a really good job, especially incorporating the president somehow. Ploy or real, most say they're just fans of Seth Rogen and James Franco. The self-proclaimed Western capitalist pigs who brought you the movie and wrapped up their experience tonight saying this. I came, I saw, I ate a hot dog, I'm still alive. <laughs> now the movie is also available online on sites like YouTube. Wink News asked many of you tonight why you chose to go to the theater. Many say they just prefer the big screen. And if you're watching online, the interview costs $5.99 to rent and $14.99 to buy. Well, brand new on Wink News at 10, even President Obama is 